Hello, thank you for joining me today. My name is Alvin Kerr. I am the co-founder and chairman of My Econ Inc., a multi-million dollar, 19-year-old debt-free company based here out of Atlanta, Georgia. I'm also the CEO of my own company called I Choose My Economy. My mission here today is to provide training and understanding to those of you who lack a financial education and who for many, many years have watched videos, have attended seminars, have attended various organizations, perhaps even you've heard in your church and everywhere that God wants you to be wealthy and you've tried all of the things that they, you've been told to try and you haven't had any success or very limited success at becoming wealthy or increasing your finances to be able to do the things you desire. So what makes Alvin Curry different from all the other, say, coaches you want to call them, motivational speakers, or even for that matter, your pastors and various people who are helping you or at least talking to you about how you should create and build wealth for you and your family? I just want to give you my little quick story. And I think that this is what makes me different. I was born and raised in the 50s and 60s and went to high school in the 70s and graduated in the state of Mississippi. During that tumultuous time of our country, I knew very clearly I wanted to be a millionaire at that time. But my family, as with many other families at that time, or most that I knew about, told us what we should do was go to school, get a good education, and in a Curry family, that meant you need to get a college degree. Go out and find a good job with benefits work hard, and keep your nose clean. I didn't want no parts of that. After high school, I tried college for one year, didn't like it. I went and I found a manual labor job working in a factory. I did not like that. So after that didn't pan out, I didn't like it. I joined the military. I actually enjoyed the military, but in the military, I was a telephone installer slash lineman. I worked in that for seven years. I actually enjoyed it, but I never got out of my mind. I wanted to be wealthy. But how does one get wealthy in the military? So I got out of the military in 1984. I was in Tacoma, Washington. I got a job then with a cable TV company as a lineman slash technician there. And I worked and my wife had a job with our two children. We eventually had a third child while we was there. And we made together roughly about $40,000 a year in household income. We were able to buy a house. We was able to get cars and do things that everybody else was doing. But I still did not see myself going to wealth. So what I did, as many other people had told me, I went back to college. I got a degree in accounting. Because I figured, well, if I'm not going to get wealthy, I at least need to be able to make enough money to take care of my family well and send my children to college. So I figured as an accountant, I could make at least six figures and do well enough to take care of my family. But God is a good God. He sent for someone who didn't seem like a big business person, didn't have any real idea of what they were doing. They spoke to my wife about an opportunity that they were looking at, that they wanted to see if we had any interest in. And they talked to me about a gentleman who's now my business partner and told me he had an opportunity maybe I should look at. I reluctantly allowed him to come to my home, and this was 1986. And he talked to me about the then opportunity. And the one thing he said to me that moved me more than anything else, he said, Alvin, if you do business with me, we can get rich. He said, we. That was very important to me. I said, well, how do I get rich? Because I immediately remember when I grew up in Mississippi that what I wanted to do was get wealthy. I didn't want to go to college. I didn't want to do all these other things, get a good job and do all that. I wanted to get wealthy. But because I had a family, I had a job, and I had to keep one. I had to feed my family. I was taught that I had to do that. I knew that I needed to do that. Because I had a family, I had gone back to college to get the college education because I needed to take care of my family. I got in business with him 
in December of 1986. I started to change my life in 1987. Around August of 1987, I started making decent part-time income. And by September of 1988, I was able to leave my job as a full-time installer slash technician for the cable company and go full-time. In the midst of all of that, my wife lost her job one month later. So now we had one income, and that was me on a sales commission. God bless me. I was able to make enough income to sustain our home till my wife was able to find another job. Uh, eight, nine months later, she was able to find another job and go back into the workforce. So we went to work. God bless me. Within less than 10 years, by 1995, I became a millionaire. I was able to move my family from Atlanta, from Washington State to Atlanta metropolitan area here in Georgia. We've been in Georgia ever since January of 1995. So ladies and gentlemen, we have built multiple marketing companies because you hear network marketing companies, they tell you, boy, you go out and get one on the left and one on the right, you're gonna be, you're gonna just make thousands of dollars. I did that. I even told people that back in the day. I made tens of thousands of dollars. But I found that most people were not able to do that. Most people were not able to go get one on the left and one on the right and build a big old team. I told people, just like many other people, well, we got a red hot product, got the best product in the industry. And if you buy this product, it sells itself. I actually believe that. And I actually told people that. And of course, it worked for me. So I thought it would work for everybody else. I actually told people. If a guy like me from a rural community in Mississippi could go out and become a millionaire in less than 10 years from a stretch operation, then anybody could do that because that was a part of what the presentation says. But I want to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. That's not true. That's not true. I now know that to be absolute fact after many years of working in the industry, most people are never gonna build a big dial line. Most people can't sell. So it has to be some other thing that you're gonna have to learn. And so at my econ, we teach financial literacy. We teach people to come in business with us and learn how finances actually work and then apply those actual principles to their life and anyone who applies that recipe to their lives can become a millionaire or even build wealth to whatever degree they want to do. So we have a system here that I would like to introduce you to that I believe you can build great wealth for you and your family. I'd like to have a conversation with you about that. I believe our way is better because everybody can understand financial literacy and apply it to their lives. And you don't have to be able to build a big team to become a millionaire. So if you want to learn more about this, or if you have any interest and in just taking one more look, reach out to me at trustalvincurry.com. Follow me on LinkedIn. And I will reach out to you and we can have a conversation. Doesn't mean you have to do business with me just to have a conversation. But if you're still interested in being wealthy, don't quit. See, the only reason you won't get wealthy is if you quit. See, you know, you said, I'm not going to do business with you, Alvin. Still, the question is, you still should keep trying to get wealthy. You shouldn't quit. Because when you quit, that's when you really fail all of the other experiences you've had. They have been learning curves, a stepping stone to build your wealth. But I believe that the Lord has blessed me to be a blessing to you. So I want to invite you to have a conversation with me. I want to thank you for your time. Again, my name is Alvin Curry, 
and go to trustalvincurry.com or follow me on LinkedIn and we can have a conversation. Thank you.